Okay, let's try going over uh, practice test number 10 uh, directly off from the college board, right? Oh, and so uh, we will be going through the reading section, right, for uh, this particular uh, video. And so we will be taking a look at the passage, uh, briefly going over uh, the uh, the summary of the passage and then going over the questions, right, one by one. And so let's start with the first passage, which was by, uh, adapted from Mary Helen uh, Stefaniak, uh, the Kelly, uh, the Ka caliphs of baghdad georgia right so you must have um, taken some time to read over the passage and so we're just going to go briefly about um about uh the passage as a whole uh it's of a uh a, a former teacher right uh a teacher uh meeting her former students right and that would be the major uh uh plot line right of the passage and this would be an example of a literary passage that you'll be reading for um the uh for uh practice test uh reading for number 10. uh and so let's start with let's start off with number one right um the narrator of the passage can be described as and there would be four different answer choices that would be given and uh, the answer for number one here in this case would be a um, looking at uh, the uh, looking at the line number uh, for number one uh, we have learned that how um, uh, the former students of right uh, the uh, former students of uh, the Miss uh, Spavy right was able to meet her former students and therefore uh, one of uh, uh, the narrator would be uh, one of Miss Phoebe's former students or uh, Miss Phoebe's 1938 class, right? Uh, that would be the, uh, the, uh, uh, and therefore we would be able to infer that the narrator of passage to be one of uh, Miss Phoebe's former students, right? And then uh, for number two, in the passage, three step is mainly presented as A, and uh, the answer choices are given. And uh, for number two, uh, we would be able to infer uh, from uh, lines number 10 through uh, 12, where she would be talking about um, how there would be uh, uh, on uh, the burned uh, grass alongside the tracks, right? And then also in line number 59, uh, uh, there would be a rural rural setting a rural setting right and so therefore we would be able to infer from this that right uh, that uh, the three step would be an example of the small rural town right especially with the first paragraph describing uh, Timbuktu right um, in Africa right and so we would be able to infer that and uh, for number three, uh, it can reasonably be inferred from the passage that some of the people at the train station regard Miss Phoebe's comment about Georgia heat with. Uh, and for number three, the answer would have been D, uh, resentment because they feel that she is minimizing their discomfort. For instance, uh, number three, right, in line number 10, uh, I believe her remark irritated some of the people gathered to welcome her on the burnt grass uh, alongside the tracks, right? And so uh, when folks are sweating uh, through the uh, through their shorts, they don't like to hear that this is something that this is nothing compared to someplace else, right? She, they would uh, feel that, right? Uh, uh, Miss uh, Spivy would be uh, undermining or uh, uh, sort of uh, underestimating the uh, the heat, right? Being uh, 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 being present there, and therefore would feel that kind of resentment towards that towards uh, her uh, her comment that uh, she would be minimizing their sense of discomfort. And uh, for number four, uh, it would be asking us for uh, the line reference where we have gotten the answer for number three. And uh, as we have just looked at, the lines, line numbers would have come from line number 10 to 14 for number four. And then uh, for number five, Miss Phoebe most likely uses the phrase fruitful intermission in line number 26 in order to indicate that um, A, where she benefited from taking time off from her studies in order to travel, right? In line number 26, we are able to see that uh, there was a fruitful intermission in her formal education and that she was able to take time off, right? Take a gap year and she was able to uh, travel uh, during her uh, time off from school, right? 
And then uh, for number six, uh, the following question would be uh, for number six, the interaction between Miss Vivi and Ralford mainly serves uh, to, and uh, here in this case, uh, the answer would have been A to suggest that Miss Vivi has an ex exaggerated view of what information should be considered common knowledge. And uh, in the passage, right, uh, she was assuming that the knowledge uh, that uh, that the students would be aware of the Ivy League schools, right? She, the knowledge of Ivy, uh, she was assuming about their knowledge of the Ivy League schools when she was mentioning how Barnard School uh, College in New York City had been a sister school of Columbia University. She was assuming that they would be aware of the Ivy League schools or the East, Co East Coast schools, right, in, uh, in America. And then uh, for number seven, in the third paragraph, what is the narr narrator most likely suggesting by describing Miss Phoebe as uh, having wandered in one situation and marched in another situation? And so in line number 40, right, we we're able to uh, look at the word wandered. And then uh, in line number 49, marched, right? And uh, here the answer would have been D. Miss Bibi's in initial encounter with Dewey's ideas was somewhat accidental. The idea that uh, for number 40, right, wondered about something, right? Something has been accidental, right? Um, and uh, for, but ultimately motivated her to decide decisive action, right? That um, for number 40, uh, for line number 49, the word marched, right? It would have been a more decisive action, right? With more autonomy, right? Uh, for the action itself. And therefore that would have been, right? Uh, the transition or the change in uh, her, the, the, the mode of her action, right? Um, and for number eight, according to the passage, Miss Baby ended up in three step as a direct result of uh, talking with a woman at the WPA, right? Uh, for number eight, um, she was able to right talk with a woman at the WPA according to lines number 51 through 54, right? Woman from the WPA that she wanted to bring democracy and education to the poorest, darkest, right, most remote, forgotten corner of America. They sent her to J-Step, Georgia, right? So the idea that uh, the uh, communication, the uh, interaction with the uh, woman from the organization called WPA, uh, WPA it had allow her to move into the rural town of three step right and then uh, for number nine in the passage when miss vivi announces that she has seen camels the students reaction suggests that they are baffled right and for number nine um the uh, line reference for number nine would have been that from 85 to 86, we uh, the line would read, we all hung there for a, min um, for a minute, thinking hard until Miss Davis spoke up. The idea that they had uh, uh, pondered for a while, right? Uh, they would have uh, stopped for a while. They would have been baffled by her, uh, by her response, right? And then uh, for number 10, right, uh, the line reference for the previous question that we have just looked at would have come from line number 50, uh, 85, to 80, 85 through 86. And, uh, uh, and so the answer for number 10 would have been B, right? So that will be a sample of how to solve through a reading passage for practice tests, right? Passage one, literary uh, uh, passage.